Okay, this is our homemade egg washer that my husband made. It is attached to his air pump. And um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just really need to purchase the fittings uh, for that. I think that's brass. And uh, just know a little bit about uh, PVC pipe, what to get to glue it and whatnot. Um, five gallon bucket. And uh, what you wanna do is you fill it with warm water and uh, take a large bucket or I'm sorry, a large uh, basket. Lower it down in there. Sometimes you may have to top off the water. Now this is a, a basket that's been in there for a few, maybe 15 minutes or so. And I'll show you the inside of the, as you can see, he drilled little holes in the PVC. Got all this off of YouTube, by the way. Very easy. You can make anything off of YouTube videos. And I'm going to show you uh, the next basket. What we usually do is we'll have one going, one going in, one coming out. And you want to keep your air on kind of a low setting. You don't want it to blast the eggs out of there. You just want kind of a low percolating. Um, do that for about 10-15 minutes, sometimes a little longer. Uh, we do have duck eggs also and they get pretty dirty so I will sometimes do those a little longer. I usually put uh, warm water in it to start with. Once the water, after you've done about, you know, maybe four batches, the water gets dirty enough you want to change it out. And uh, I don't put any type of cleaning agents in there, it's just water, nothing else. Uh, occasionally we might put, you know, the egg wash solution in there that you can buy at Tractor Supply. I have found that that does seem to kind of make it suds up just a little bit, so I prefer to just not mess with it. We have this down in our basement and I dump it into the sump pump when it's finished, but um, it's a great time saver, especially when you have a lot of chicken eggs to wash at once. And Basically, that's it. And these guys are on their way. And we'll take them out. I'll take the other basket upstairs, rinse them off, lay them out on a towel, dry them off, and package them up, and they are ready for the farmer's market. So, hope you enjoyed it. And you should be able to find all this on YouTube if you Google it. So, enjoy!